Welcome, welcome! How nice that you are here! Let's talk some Smash, shall we? So, this is it. The first Fighter's Pass is over. I would like to say that everyone is happy, but that probably isn't the case. But not to worry, a new pass is on the way with 6 more fighters. So hopefully the people that hate Violet get a new character in that they really like. If you have seen one of my videos before, I make top 5's about Smash characters and look at developers, indies or assist trophies and see which ones would be the best picks to get a new fighter in Smash. But today I want to take a step back into the past. What if one of our next fighters would come from Nintendo's most classic era, the Nintendo Entertainment System? The device that brought Nintendo on the video game market. A lot of characters were born in that period, and unfortunately some died there as well, while others are still going strong today. So if we got to pick characters from that era, then which ones would be the best fit? I want to present to you my top 5 of the best options. And if you have your favorite characters from that time, then be sure to let me know in a top 5 in the comments as well. And I know a lot of characters at the time actually started out on an arcade machine and were later ported to the NES, but if they had an important game on that console, then it's all good. Let's not be too strict for ourselves. All clear? Then let's begin with number 5. And I want to start off with two brothers. I mean, we do have the Mario brothers, so why not add the Lee brothers as well? Billy and Jimmy Lee, the protagonist for the game Double Dragon. These twins like to beat up some thugs with some slick martial arts moves. Their style is called Su Setsu Ken, which is specifically developed for the Double Dragon series. Now these aren't some magical kicks and punches, but just a lot of technique and inner energy. Your enemies, the Black Warriors, want to know the secrets behind this fighting style, and often try to do some stupid shit to blackmail these brothers. Like kidnapping Billy's girlfriend, and boy, if that isn't a bad idea. I mean, look at them go! In the NES games, the moves are pretty basic. Just the stuff that you would expect from a beat em up with Karate Boys. But in the later entries, these attacks become somewhat more fancy. The story of these games is a bit all over the place. In the first one, these brothers are friends and fighting side by side to destroy the ultimate evil. And in the next one, Jimmy has become some evil crime lord. Because he's jealous that Billy has a girlfriend or something. Oh, and they can also steal weapons from the bad guys. So for Smash, you could also give them a bat or a chain with a ball at the end. These guys are classics and an important part of the NES history and video game history in general. And hey, if we can't make them into a suitable character for Smash, we could also take some inspiration from the Double Dragon movie. Or we don't do that, you know, <laughs> whatever. And here's a character that's often talked about but hasn't seen the light of day in a long time. Mac Rider, the predecessor to F-Zero if you will. Now there has always been some debate if this is a man or a woman. Because in the arcade version, which is called Versus Mac Rider, there would happen something interesting after each level. Piece by piece the image of a woman wielding a knife would be revealed. But it remains unclear if this is to signify if this is actually the Mac Rider or someone who we saved, or just some eye candy for the thirsty gamer boys. But okay, let's just assume this is the Mac Rider. She is someone that likes to ride her bike. In the year 2112, after an alien invasion, she drives her Mac bike searching for a new home. But while driving, she would often be harassed by aliens and quad runners. Now the cool thing is, is that she has guns on her bike. But she is also often depicted wielding a gun herself, instead of them being attached to her bike. And I think you could do a cool combination of that in Smash. Two forms if you will. With her wielding a gun in her regular form, and blasting everything away while driving her bike. She is a classic and would make for a fun, interesting addition for the DLC. But if it will happen, I have my doubts. And do you remember the classic good boy Mike Jones? He was a hero in his own right from the game Star Tropics. This good American sportsman decides to visit his uncle on Coracola. But when he finally gets there, he finds out that his uncle has been kidnapped. Oh no. But as the good hero that he is, he decides to go after his uncle and rescue him. Only slowly things are starting to get weird. And it seems that our sweet uncle is kidnapped by aliens. So yeah, that kinda complicates things. As Mike Jones you have an arsenal of weapons to fight your enemies. Like a baseball bat, a yo-yo and fireballs. So it's not like we already have someone in the game with that moveset or whatever. But you know what? Star Tropics was a really fun game. But man, it could also be incredibly savage at times. 
For one puzzle, you had to have a physical letter that you got with the game. And you had to dip it in water to receive the secret code to progress. I mean, who comes up with that kind of stuff? If you didn't have the letter back in the day, then it would be game over for you. And the game also got a sequel with Zoda's Revenge. But unfortunately, Nintendo decided to give up on the Star Tropic series after that. If you want to give it a shot, you can still find it in the NES library for Switch Online. But beware, I just found out that they kept the whole water dunk letter stuff in there. Without providing you the code. So you're gonna need some Google with that. I believe he would work really well. And I know it's basically a tall Ness, but this guy was such an important part of the Nintendo Entertainment System. At least he's still somewhat unique compared to the other characters. Plus the music from his game is madness funky, which would work perfectly in Ultimate. Let's bring back Mike Jones, put him in Smash and give him a hug. He deserves it. And here's another no-brainer for you. Everybody loves dragons, right? And everybody loves bubbles as well. No? Well, at least I do. So let's add the perfect combination Bub and Bob from Bubble Bubble. These cute dragons like to spit bubbles and kick ass. These guys have been around for such a long time and had a presence on so many arcade machines and consoles. It's also about time that we got a puzzle wrap in Smash. So why not these cuties to fill that gap? There isn't much to them, but I think Sakurai could get creative with developing a moveset. With some quick movement and a lot of bubbles, of course. I mean, they're small dragon boys, so they could use their claws and spikes for basic attacks. But for the bubbles, there has to be a lot of variety. One that damages the enemy, an attack that traps enemy inside a bubble, big ones, small bubbles, fireballs. You can get crazy with this. I also remember clearly playing the puzzle bubble game, which was also amazing and just shows how versatile this character is and that they have dabbled in a lot of different genres and game styles. In Smash, they could work greatly on their own as an alternative skin from one another. Or you can do something fun with a Dio character, just like the Ice Climbers. It would be about time to see that mechanic back in the new fighter. The puzzle genre is underrepresented in Smash. And with these guys, you have the perfect way to give those games some much deserving love. And you know what? By now you would think Mario is sick of saving damsels in distress all the time. Well, not to worry, because Sir Arthur is here. Destroying all monstrous enemies to get his lady friends back. The protagonist from the Ghosts and Goblins series. A handsome bearded knight that doesn't shy away from ghouls and ghosts as well. He is a very jumpy man. Besides that, he likes to throw a lot of stuff. Spears, knives, fireballs, you name it. Anything that can destroy the monsters on his path. I think he's one of those guys that gets often forgotten. But he's surely a very iconic character. Still to this day making a lot of appearances in Marvel vs Capcom games and such. And are his games fun? No! It's not like I suck in Ghosts and Goblins, I'm actually really good, it's, it's just be because I want to die, <laughs> I'm not even trying. No, but seriously, these games are hard, and I never managed to beat them. And praise the lord for the rewind button on the NES games on Switch, because otherwise I would have never recorded any viable footage for this video. In this game you have two lives. With your first life you are running around in full armor like a chivalrous knight, ready to save the day. But get hit once and you have to do the rest of the level in your underpants. Which you will probably see most of the time. But I would love to see this as an alternative skin in Smash, if he would get added. I mean if they can do it for Shulk, then why not for Arthur? A quick jumpy projectile character. He's great and I would love to get him in. So that's it guys and girls, five characters from the classic NES era that really deserve a chance to get a smash. I mean with six more characters getting in, give at least one spot to a classic am I right? And if you missed Ryu Hayabusa in this list, I talked a lot about him in other videos. So I decided to talk about five other characters for a change. But now I want to throw it to you my friend. If you get to pick 5 characters from that retro time of the NES, then who would it be? Let me know your top 5 in the comments. And next time we're going a little bit forward in time and talk about the SNES. If you know any characters from that time that should have a spot in my list, then let me know as well. And my good friend, if you are here, then why not subscribe to the XPREF channel. There are a lot more videos about Smash and Nintendo on the channel right now. Plus even more is on the way. And drop a like while you're at it as well to receive this virtual high five. <laughs> Woo, you earned it. If you want, you can check out my Twitter or Discord in the description as well. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.